Hi everyone, it's Alicia Gilsworth with Telltale TV, and I'm here today with two of Letter Kenny's finest, Kay Trevor Wilson and Lisa Codrington. Hello. Guys. So, Leonard Kenny, this show is basically a love letter to rural Canada, and there's a lot of, you know, local actors that are a part of the show. And I was just wondering, how did it come about that you got into Leonard Kenny in the first place? Was it a traditional audition, or was it a little bit more impractical? Lisa and I are, are two members of the cast who, who got involved the old school way. We, we auditioned uh, for our roles, uh, you know, I mean, everyone auditioned for their roles uh, first off, uh, and there. But uh, I mean, we definitely like some of the guys had a history with uh, Jared or a history with Jacob. Uh, and at least five members of the cast all played on the same beer league hockey team in Vancouver. But uh, Lisa and I were both we both auditioned. And we both like uh, my first time meeting Jared was at the very first table read. He walked up and handed me a. Uh, a bottle of whiskey and a mix CD of Letterkenny music and said, welcome to Letterkenny. And I was like, all right, you and I are going to get along just fine. It's a good uh, welcome. Yeah. For me, it was just a traditional, I did a, did an audition, got a call back, got a job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much the same. I think my first time meeting everybody, I, I had a chat with um, Jacob on the phone before I went down, but the first time was the first day I was shooting. So I just kind of showed up and, we're getting started, but it was, uh, yeah, same thing. A couple auditions and, uh, and that was that. I have to think that the auditions for Gail would have been a little bit more intense than everybody else's. <laughs> it was, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what everyone else auditioned with, but yeah, there was certainly like, it was, I think a big scene where Gail was kind of going off on, on the guys at the fruit stand for sure. So it was definitely a lot of fun, that audition. It was like, you got the sense of who the character was as soon as you opened those sides. And I was like, this is unlike anything I've done before. And it seems like a lot of fun. So I'm gonna have to go for it or else, you know, <laughs> there's really no point. It's always a good <laughs> feeling going into it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, rumor has it that Leonard Kenny will be going back to filming um, sometime in the spring uh, for back-to-back -back seasons. So I was just wondering, what are you guys most pumped to get back to with the show going back into filming? Mostly just getting out of my house. Uh, <laughs> we were talking about this on the last interview. Um, this is the longest break we've had from doing Letter Kenny since probably the first season of Letter Kenny. Uh, you know, we've been uh, over a year since we filmed uh, season nine, and uh, we were doing um, the live tour. Uh, a bunch of us were doing the Letter Kenny live tour. Actually, when the, the pandemic hit, we got pulled off the road uh, midway through the, the tour. Um, so between doing Letter Kenny live and doing Letter Kenny, I've been doing Letter Kenny almost every three months for the past couple of years. And then now it's been this this long break. So I'm just looking forward to, to seeing everybody again, to getting back to work on the show. You know, there's, I, I trust that whatever they come up with for my character is going to be fun. I'm mostly just, you know, looking forward to uh, getting back up to Sudbury, seeing uh, the cast and the crew and uh, putting on those overalls again. Yeah. I mean, I would agree. I think it's just fun to actually get to play again. You know, it's been a really long time. And, and again, like mostly I've seen people on Zoom. So it would be nice to see people in person. And I imagine in the episodes we'd see each other in person. I don't know. <laughs> it's still a mystery. But, um, but I think that'll be... Zoom episode of Letterkenny. <laughs> exactly. Letterkenny Zoom. So it'll be really fun to just be able to just get to be in a room with folks and playing again, because it's so much fun to do the show. So I think it'd be great to do that. Do you think that Leonard Kenny will tackle some of what's been happening with the pandemic or is Leonard Kenny going to stay in its little bubble of the small town? You know, we, we, Leonard Kenny, uh, you know, tries not to date itself too much by focusing uh, too much on what's in the headlines, but I also think um, to not mention it would be even weirder than mentioning it. So I, I imagine something that will be said. I imagine some jokes will be made. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be, you know, like a, an arc that covers the full season, but uh, I, I think we'll, we'll have to touch on it because uh, otherwise you're leaving a lot of comedy on the table. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how it's handled. I have no idea, but I think I imagine that's like 
that they're, you know, they're so creative and work with things in such a fun way. I'm sure they'll figure out some way to kind of dive into it. So after all these years of bringing this show to life, what is the trickiest to execute? The fight scenes or the dialogue heavy scenes? Depends on the fight, depends on the dialogue. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest, we do more dialogue scenes than, uh, than fight scenes. And uh, those can be tongue twisters. It's uh, the hardest part about shooting the dialogue is, is getting over the giggles. Uh, once we start breaking, uh, it can take us right out of the pacing. But, um, you know, also it's like, we are not athletes on that show. So some of those fight scenes, you know, the, once the adrenaline wears off, I got an old man back and fat guy knees. So uh, <laughs> sometimes I just need to lay down after a fight scene. <laughs> I've never really done, I mean, I've had like little parts in fight scenes, so I don't really have the experience that, you know, Ketrev has of like diving in and the choreography. Like, I think that that would be, it looks like a lot of fun, but also a lot of work and sort of precision. But uh, the dialogue for sure can be challenging of like just making sure that you're keeping the pace and keeping things tight. And especially when it's like sometimes nine or 10 pages, you gotta go back to the beginning sometimes to kind of get through it. So I think that's tricky, but it's also fun when you do get it, it feels great. Yeah. Okay. So um, I have to ask because you had mentioned there's some giggles when you're getting into the dialogue scenes. How often do you guys find you break when Gail is in a scene? Oh, I break all the time when I'm in a scene with Lisa. Uh, Lisa is, I think I've seen her break once in the history of the show. Uh, she is uh, <laughs> amazing at keeping the straight face while saying the most ridiculous things. But like, if you go back to season one of Letterkenny and Fart Book, uh, you can see me hiding behind my hat to keep from laughing at uh, at Lisa's gyrations and threats towards the skin. Uh, so, so for sure, Lisa cracks me a lot. <laughs> I think I get a lot of practice because I get to read the lines first in the script and go, whoa, <laughs> I get desensitized. And then so when I come in, it's a little easier not to break when we dive into it. But I certainly, I, I have fun watching the show after. Yeah, Gail has definitely been a standout this year. I noticed online, a lot of people were wondering where her physicality comes from and her movements that are so iconic. How did that come to be? Honestly, I don't know that I remember now, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I wish I had a better story. <laughs> I wish I had a better origin story. <laughs> I don't, but I think that it was just, um, it just the things that she was saying. And I just kind of felt like the way that the, the things that she was saying, she needed some kind of movement with it inside of her. That was what was going inside on inside of her body. And in this world, I felt it was fit for it to actually be seen. So <laughs> kind of always see what's going on in her head. Cannot be hidden. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. She leaves it all out on the cutting room. It all out okay. on the table. No subtext. It's just body text. <laughs> <laughs> so the show started out on YouTube. It's been the staple series of Crave TV. It's gone to the States, to Hulu now. Um, you know, it's been quite a journey for you guys, nine seasons now. What has been the most surreal part of this journey for you? There's so many, so many things. I mean, doing the, the live show, uh, Letter Kitty Live has been nuts and just like, you know, playing to 5,000 people in a, you know, in, in a theater is pretty incredible. And then right on the other side, you we were watching the Oscars coverage and, and, and Brad Pitt mentions our show, you know, and when doing an interview with eTalk and stuff like that is just, uh, just blows your mind. So it, it's, it's, it, there's been so many moments and beats. It's hard to pick out like, what's the one that's been the most taken you out of your body and blindsided you. But it's like, you know, earlier this year, Ronda Rousey tweeted about uh, being excited watching the show and being excited to hear her name mentioned on Letter Kenny and, you're like, oh, you're the baddest woman on the planet. Thank you for watching Letter Kenny. <laughs> it's nuts. It's um, like a while back, I got invited to go backstage at the WWE show because they were all Letter Kenny fans. And it's like, wow. yeah, I was a kid who grew up on Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. <laughs> now those guys are like, hey, can you come sign my stuff? It's, it's <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's just so surprising. Like, I just think back to the first season and we're just doing this show and we're having fun and we're just creating this little thing. And it's so fun to see that this, you know, show that is, we're in Sudbury in this little town creating this little story and it just kind of resonates for a lot of people. It's just, it's exciting and super fun. Thank you guys for taking the time to talk with me. Thanks, Thanks for having Take care. us. Bye. Bye. See you later.